This is Dog Nation's coverage of the NFL Draft, presented by Kroger. Now, here's our insiders, Mike Griffith and Connor Riley. Hello, everyone, and welcome into another episode of Dogs in the Draft. I'm joined by Mike Griffith, and today we were talking about a no-nonsense bell cow running back. We're talking about Dejan Edwards. He's not the flashiest player. He is not the biggest player in the world. But this is a guy that Georgia felt more than comfortable turning and handing the ball off to and picking up the tough yards. So, Mike, what is an NFL team potentially getting in Dejan Edwards? You said it, blue-collar worker. I mean, this was a guy that was a workhorse for Georgia. He played through injuries, gets those tough yards, assignment sound, responsible player, can play special teams, will work hard. Now, the metrics aren't great. He's not the biggest guy. He's not the fastest guy. So he doesn't necessarily fit that running back draftable category. And somebody loves him enough, they may grab him late. My guess is there's going to be three or four teams that try to sign Dejan as a free agent, recognizing that, hey, this guy could be on a practice squad. You call him up, he's going to be ready to play. He can play a number of roles. He can play special teams. Just a a tough kid. I don't know if underappreciated is the right word, but this guy was a part of two national championship teams, Connor, and, you know, had some really big clutch carries for the Bulldogs. Not a flashy player by any stretch of the means, but I think NFL teams will like that. This is a guy who understands his role and will buy into that at the next level. A guy that has no problem sticking his nose in there and earning the tough yards. Led Georgia in rushing last season, despite dealing with an injury to start the year. 13 touchdowns, 880 yards, and that's splitting the, the backfield with an NFL caliber running back in Kendall Milton. So this is a guy who has no problem coming in and working as part of a larger rotation. He played with guys like Zamir White, James Cook during his college career, and any chance Kirby Smart had a chance to rave about Dejan Edwards, he did. He appreciates the toughness and the mentality that he brings to the to the locker room coming out of that Colquitt County program that has produced a lot of really great players over the years. And I have no doubt in my mind, even if Dejan Edwards doesn't end up getting drafted, which very well could be the case on draft night, he's absolutely someone who can find his way onto an NFL roster and potentially help a team moving forward. So for Mike Griffith, my name is Connor Riley. This has been an episode of Dogs in the Draft discussing Georgia running back Dejan Edwards.